And Debian with Photoshop. I have zero interest in that, Michael. Adobe stuff in Linux will never get my sign off until Adobe officially supports Linux, which is never going to happen. Hmm. Where, oh, where is this, though? Well, yeah, you can do it. It's just, I always remind, reminded of that Jurassic Park quote, never thought if you should do it is the question. And the, the, the answer to that is, yeah, you really shouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the thing about Photoshop. The, the reason why is when you, you throw stuff through an emulation layer, especially with work product that you're doing in Photoshop, you're just going to have a lot of undesired results. So you're never going to be able to say, it's never going to be a one-to-one -one comparison. You're going to be working at a massive disadvantage by running Photoshop in your Debian instance compared to Photoshop in Windows. The Windows version just simply will work better. It's completely stable. I call bullshit. <laughs> Seriously, man, come on. There's no way. I have it in Windows and it's buggy there. Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know. That sounds like a... That sounds like a tall tale, my friend. But yeah, there's no Adobe product that is ever stable. It's just levels of instability. I think there's a true statement. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not doubting Michael did it. He's definitely got Photoshop running. It's just, I don't know. Photoshop, when I did it last in Debian, it ran and it functioned. But some of the pop-ups and uh, when I was doing a lot of the layering, it got real dicey real fast. And I think mine ended up doing a lot of crashes. Now, having said that, this was about two years ago last I tried. Yeah. Yeah, wine, it has improved quite a bit, but it's Adobe. And it's not even stable on Windows. Throwing it through an emulation layer would probably make it even more unstable, I would imagine. At least my experiences with it were that. That's why I've said everything I just said. It's Photoshop, which is like, ah. But I would definitely be interested in it. But anytime someone says Photoshop's completely stable and they're in Linux, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a skeptic on that one. And you're using it a lot in Debian? Like all the pop-ups are fine. Layering's fine. Generative fill... All, all the things are working just fine for an extended period of time. That's where I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, wine tricks and wine 64, that, that's normal, though. <laughs> wine is not an emulator. It's in the name. Yeah, it's a compatibility layer, and it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. I will tell you in a month. Okay. I look forward to your report on this because I, I remember trying it two years ago, and it was a hot mess. It, but if you're already saying it's kind of stable, I'm kind of like, okay, well, that's better than what I had because it didn't take me long of just doing the basic stuff. And you know me, I'm not, I'm not a graphic designer. I do thumbnails for YouTube. You can do that with a potato. And uh, I was already running into a lot of bugs. So I could only imagine what like a graphic designer would run into, which I know you, you're much more of a Photoshop power user than I. So that's why I'm like, I look forward to the report on that. Photoshop is better in Arch. Well, that makes sense because of all of the package updates, which is good. It just means here in six months, Debian's Photoshop's going to be just as, just as good as it is right now. It's just Arch gets it a little sooner. It's pretty amazing, the wine team, though. My goodness.